So in today's video, I'll be going over a few of my personal Instagram followers videos that they submitted to me in my creator discord. The link is in the description down below. If you want to join my creator discord, we send in videos in there. We do edit critiques and all that kind of stuff. So you can join that in the description down below. First link in that creator discord, I created a new channel in there. And I thought, hey, maybe I'll get some of my followers to submit some of their videos, some of their Instagram reels or TikToks, whatever it may be. And I'll go through them in one of my YouTube videos and give my critiques, my what I would do maybe to improve them, my things that I like about them, things that I don't, and kind of explain to them how I would go about editing those videos in my process and what how I think they can improve or how they are just doing amazing. There were tons and tons and tons of submissions. I didn't actually expect like hundreds of submissions, but there were hundreds of submissions from followers in there. So it took me a while to go through uh, all of them and check out every single video and kind of select a few to put into the video. So I just wanna say thanks to everyone who submitted in there. First, I'm gonna go through exactly how I go about editing my videos. It'd be take 10 seconds and I'm just gonna go through the main things that I look for and then I'll go through all of the submissions. So without further ado, let's jump into my computer and get going with this. So editing, my main editing focus is, the first thing that you probably notice with my videos on my Instagram, which is right here by the way, um, is that I like to have quick and clean cuts. So I like to have very quick cuts to catch the viewer's attention when someone's scrolling through Instagram. But I also wanna make sure that my cuts are clean and on beat and just make sense. I don't want totally random cuts and totally slow cuts. I want them to be on beat, on the clap, on the hit, whatever it is, whatever I'm using, whatever kind of audio or song, I wanna make sure those, those cuts are clean. Next thing I always make sure of is that I am having purposeful use of the content that I'm including in the video. So. I wanna make sure that the content I'm having in is has a general theme to it. It's consistent with every other clip that I'm using in the, in the, in the uh, edit, and maybe I have some text on screen, so if that text has a meaning behind it, usually I'm making sure that the clips that are playing behind the text relate to the, 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 the text that I use. Maybe it's a quote, maybe it's some kind of thing that I put on there. And pairing with that, I wanna make sure that I have a consistent theme, niche, and pacing with my videos. I wanna make sure they're quick to the point and they are related to my general theme of my Instagram account, which is kind of fitness, motivation, stuff like that. Consistency coming in here again is having consistent colors throughout the video, so making sure there's no like bright colors because my, my Instagram theme is more dark, more, more uh, monotone than a lot of other people, and I wanna make sure I don't have super bright colors and just randomly throw into one of my videos. Finally, I wanna make sure that I'm always original using audios that I like, that I'm not just copying because they're going viral, make sure my style is original and my style of my filming is also original. So those are the main things that I look for in the videos that I edit. Now, before I get into everybody else's video that they submitted, I wanna make sure that you realize that this is totally subjective, this is totally my opinion, and you might not agree with my opinion, but this is how I go about editing my videos, and this is what I would suggest to these people who submitted. So again, thanks to everyone who submitted. Let's get into the videos. So first things first, let's go with uh, this first video that Joel, I think his name is Joel, submitted to me. So thanks for submitting this to me, Joel. I'm um, gonna watch through and give you my ideas and what I think of it. So let's play the video. Can't sleep. Can't breathe. Uh. Right away, I like the theme. It looks really good. Obviously, your colors are really good. Um, I like how it's dark. It's kind of similar to the way that I would edit my videos. And physique is on point, man. Looking really good. Can't breathe. One thing I would say is that the cuts are very slow and that might be your style, but for me, I would make sure that I'm having the cuts a little bit quicker, more to the beat. It's obviously like a four by four beat, so you could definitely cut to that a little bit quicker. In my opinion, it would catch more people's attention. Now, your colors and your video placement, like where the camera's being set up, all that stuff, very, very good. Like it looks really, really good. Tones and everything, solid. Everything getting harder to find. Everybody jumping out of their mind. So honestly, it looks very good, Joel. I don't wanna to take too long in everybody's videos because I do have a few videos here, but I wanna make sure I'm 30 to 60 seconds per video. But overall, man, this looks really good. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail about people's captions or anything, that's a whole nother video. But in my opinion, this video is very good. I think it's just a little bit too long and your cuts are maybe a little bit too slow. So maybe try to shorten up your cuts, add in more clips and make the video less than 15 seconds maximum. Make it 10, I use, my videos are usually 12 seconds max and that is it, so, but. Excellent video, thanks for submitting. Next video is from brown.lads, I don't know what his name is, but uh, I did want to include it here because I did have a point about it, but that's cool, let's just watch it here. Okay, so I'm watching it, it looks pretty good, man. I do like how you have all the text on there because it does make someone pause the video or try or keep watching it because it keeps them keeps the viewer attention high since they have to read through all that text. So it's not a bad thing. A lot of people might think adding a bunch of text onto videos is a, is a bad thing. I think it's good, it has a time and place. I wouldn't do it for every single video. Um, overall, it's not bad. I, I do think, again, your cuts 
could be quicker. You could include more 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 clips. Um, the zooming is a little bit forced and it's kind of slow. I do notice you're zooming in and then zooming out, and zooming in and then zooming out. I usually don't zoom out at all with my videos. I make sure that I kind of have them just zooming in slowly, consistently throughout the video. Your angles are not too bad. The colors are a little bit interesting. I'd keep, in my opinion, like my preference, I like it to be a little more dark, a little bit more contrast. That's kind of what I would suggest. The video is still going. It's definitely a little bit too long in my opinion too. 10 to 15 seconds max, like I said on Joel's video last time. But thank you for submitting. Next up, we have a video from Jarzino. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Thanks for submitting. Let's check it out. Far away. That's a great video. It's actually um, an audio that I've used. So I do, obviously, I, I, I do like the audio. Um, the cuts are very clean. Uh, the, the beginning is nice and short. You got the text over it. It looks great. The only thing I would say is try to keep your colors a little bit more consistent throughout. You can see there's lots of greens. This, this particular clip is bright. This particular clip is dark. This, this one is monotone, so that's good. Like the colors are generally similar, but try to keep it even more similar and keep them all, because um, you go from dark to light, it's gonna kind of throw the viewer off. So I like to make sure that you keep that consistent uh, colors, like I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, throughout the entire video. And there are some blues at the beginning, which is fine. But in my opinion, in my videos, I usually take the blues out. But overall, good video. This one right here is from Zola. So thanks for submitting Zola. Let's check it out. Okay, I do like it. It's very fast paced, which is kind of what I mentioned at the beginning. I do like the fast cuts. The colors are pretty good. It's a bit dark at some points. The zooming is, a little over the top in my opinion, like you're flying through those zooms. So I mean, when I'm zooming on my clips, I try to keep it a minimal zoom, but still a noticeable zoom, but not so much that it's like, I feel like a drunk almost, right? It's going really, really fast, but your cuts are clean, they're on beat. And I actually love this audio. I might steal this audio from you and use it because I actually, I like, it's a clean audio. It's good for cuts and all that kind of stuff. So excellent work on that one. Uh, I do like it. Text is good. It's just very quick zooms. I maybe slow down the zooms, but honestly it looks good. So nice work on that one, Zola. Next one here is from Sean, Sean Lifts. Thanks for submitting. Let's check it out. <laughs> cuts man honestly it looks really good uh it's just a bit dull there's no text on screen i highly highly suggest putting text on screen um as it keeps the viewer attention and it gives people a reason to like your video so have text on screen if you can the colors look great though so like the color like this is dark obviously but you got the phone so it honestly looks pretty good um another suggestion i would say is obviously make your cuts a little bit quicker all the clips are consistent with a the theme so i do like that it's kind of working out going out throughout your day you're working at the end that's great i would also say have more clips of yourself keep it more personal it gives people another reason to follow you so reason number one have text on screen reason number two have clips of yourself not just of like everything that you're doing you do have one clip of yourself at the end which is good but i would like to see more clips of you throughout the video that's all i would say but Excellent video, Sean. Next video here is from Hussam. Thanks for submitting. Let's check it out. Do or do not. There is no try. Probably already know what I'm going to say. It, it is very good. You got quick cuts. I, it's, it's my audio that I made, so obviously it looks great. I do like it. You have a couple clips of like turtles and stuff in there, which is cool, but like it doesn't, it's not consistent with the theme. Like I said, so I like to have a consistent theme. It gives people a reason to like your videos. Definitely nice work on that one. The colors are all great. The cuts are a little bit off, like, because if you listen to the audio, there is no try. It's like a winding kind of hypnotic audio. Um, I would say you want to make sure your cuts are on beat with that and not just all over the place. So make sure your cuts are more consistent and that will definitely put take your reels to the next level, in my opinion. But nice, nice work, Hassan. Next video is from uh, Rev, Journey with Rev. So let's check it out. Thanks for submitting, man. <laughs> I do like this kind of format with the tweet. That's kind of cool. Um, I haven't really, I've seen it before, but I, not many people do it. So I do like that. It's original. It keeps to your own style. So like I said at the beginning, I do like when you have original style. The colors look pretty good. Um, one thing I would suggest is when you're filming, because I know you've darkened these in post editing. I can just tell. When you're filming, try to pull down the exposure to like minus 0 0.7 or minus one. It'll make it look a lot more cleaner when you add a darker filter to it. Cause in these ones, you can tell the clip was originally bright and then you made it dark, but it's better if the clip was dark and then you make it dark. Cause it, it just, it's, it, it's more cleaner in my opinion, but maybe a little bit more contrast as well. Cause the, the, the blacks could be more deeper. Cuts are clean. Uh, it's a little bit slow at the beginning, but honestly, it's a solid video, man. Keep it up. Next one we have here is from Kevin, my buddy in 
Mexico. I wanted to watch this one because it's a great video. He used my audio as well. You can see Dave McBeth keep up. So nice work, Kevin. Let's check it out. This is an excellent video, Kevin. Like you're really doing good. And the improvement is excellent. I've been watching you for a while now. Um, the beginning is brighter, but that is that is kind of your style, I think. Um, the colors are all very consistent. So like if I play the video here, just let's mute it. Uh, you can see as it goes through, everything stays consistent. It's working out that has a consistent theme to it. I don't know what this says. As far as something to do with time, I know that because <laughs> it's, it's Spanish. But overall, Kevin, this looks very, very good. The cuts are clean as well. And you had the flash at the beginning, which is great, like right here. Looks really good. Honestly, man, this is getting really good. Keep it up. And one of these videos is bound to blow up. So nice work. Checking out Aesthetic Matt, Matty. <laughs> So first thing I'm going to say is colors look great. The dark is, is cool. I like the theme. You got to, it's kind of a going throughout your day. So that is awesome. That's, that's what I usually suggest. Kind of a vlog format, but with some kind of motivational feature to it. I do suggest putting text on videos. It does make them do a little bit better with the algorithm. People notice it more. It gives them a reason to like, like I said. Sometimes too many transitions is too much uh, and you're flying all around here. It's like a spinny one. Right, so I don't love the way that looks. That is just my style though. Like maybe you enjoy it. You keep doing it for sure. But in my opinion, it looks a little bit more professional if you're just doing cleaner cuts with cleaner transitions and not using those digital transitions where it spins it and moves it around, all that stuff. Zooms are really all you really need to make it look good. But overall, good video, Maddie. Next video we have here is from Benjamin. Uh, congrats on all the followers. And you have a few videos that are absolutely viral. I was checking out your account. So nice work. Keep it up and your account will blow up even more very, very soon. So this is more of a daily vlog format. Let's check it out. I do like the way he has like the time on the screen um, and he's like leaving home and he has like throughout his day, he puts puts text. Let's check it out. Okay, nice, quick, easy to the point. I really like it, Benjamin. Like it looks really good. Uh, having the kind of daily diary text on the video as it goes throughout the video is definitely something not a lot of people do. So I do like that. Um, very simple. This is nice aesthetic shots. Um, I would say try and keep your theme a little bit more consistent throughout with colors. Um, obviously, this has 89,000 likes. It's not much I can say. Like that's a lot of likes. It's more likes than a lot of my videos get. But if I was doing it to my style, I would keep the colors a little bit more consistent throughout. But like most of it is dark and white or black, which is cool. These are great shots. It's a bit dark compared to everything else. So yeah, just keep it a little bit more consistent. And it'll, you, that way you can, can uh, stay stick to a niche and stick more consistent with your videos and give people an even more reason to follow you on Instagram. Overall, man, this looks really good. So nice work. Next video here is from Tom, Tomrad. I uh, appreciate you submitting it. Let's check it out, man. I do not miss. Hey. Great physique, man. I like the uh, time here. It looks great. W waking up early. Respect the grind. Only thing I would say, and also your clips are super high quality. It looks like you're using an SLR. You're not using a, a, an iPhone. It looks like. You can just kind of tell, which is great. It looks super high quality clips. Maybe keep your colors a little bit more consistent. And the one big thing I would say for you that will change your reels and do make them do better numbers is just cut on beat a little bit more. Because like I'm watching some of these things you're cutting at random times, try and cut on B a little bit more and it'll just make it stand out from the rest. But overall, great, great video. Our last video that I'm gonna check out here is from a guy named Tonin. So thanks for submitting it. I saw you submitted this today when I was gonna film it. So last minute submission, but thanks for submitting. So let's check it out. It moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. So I don't mind it. I don't love teal and orange, but if you like that style, it's cool. It's just kind of an outdated style in my opinion. A lot of people used to use it, but it's not super popular anymore. But if you like the style, it's totally cool. Uh, and what I mean by that, if you guys don't know what teal and orange is, you can tell he's got like teal darks and then the lights are orange. So it looks cool. Other than that, like everything else looks pretty cool. The transitions are a bit fast, uh, a little bit offbeat and they're zooming really fast. Like I mentioned about, I forget who else's video it was, but their transitions are really fast and zooming in really fast. Slow down those zooms a little bit, but overall it looks pretty good. I think you're really getting there. Text looks good on screen. Your cuts are pretty good after that. The color obviously is consistent because you're using that teal and orange theme. So that's good. If you like that theme, that's totally cool. But yeah, just slower zooms in my opinion, but overall Tonin looks pretty good. So I do like it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed me going through some of the editing submissions. I'm kind of considering doing this maybe on a month to month basis, do like a monthly editing critique 
on my YouTube channel. So if your video wasn't featured in this particular one, don't worry, you can always submit it probably next month. I'll probably do these every other month or every month or so. I kind of like the format. We'll see how popular it is with you guys. But anyways, thank you to everyone who submitted. Again, if you want to check out and join that creator discord, it is the first link in the description down below. I'm going to be running these every single month probably. So if you want to submit in there, you always can do so. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, again, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. I try to post new videos every single, every other week, every month or so. I don't have a super consistent schedule at the moment, but I'm trying to get more and more consistent with my videos. So if you guys like this style of video, talk about editing, talk about uh, videos, talk about this lifestyle, me adding some vlogs here pretty soon. So again, if you like that kind of stuff, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.